Israel now saying it destroyed more than 200 targets in Gaza. It comes as President Biden announced that he's going to be traveling to Israel tomorrow. And NBC's uh, Jay Gray joins us now from Tel Aviv this morning. Hey there, good morning, good midday here in Tel Aviv. We're in the center of the city right now, an area that has a lot of cafes, a lot of businesses, a few blocks over, some uh, residential areas, normally packed right now at this time, lunchtime. And it is not, as you can see. There are not as many people here as you would expect on a weekday. And it's been that way since the start of this war. A lot of people, obviously, with an uneasy tension as they continue to hear overhead the Iron Dome, tested at times day and night, and watch as troops continue to build for what is expected to be a ground assault in the next few days. Though that's something that's been talked about, as you guys uh, know, regularly, but hasn't happened to this point. When you talk to those who are out, uh, most seem very pleased that President Biden is on his way here, showing the support uh, of uh, the United States, not only to the people of Israel, but to the world. It is a, a big deal to a lot of people here that he would make this trip during a time of war and land and, and again, show uh, that the U.S. has the back of the uh, Israeli people. He's going to walk a fine line. He's also going to talk, and the White House has said this is part of his stated mission, about getting some supplies, much needed uh, just basics into those uh, innocent civilians caught in the middle of this fight. And we're talking about food, we're talking about uh, water, medicine, fuel, all of that right now not making its way to those who need it most. And it's something that huma humanitarian effort uh, that he definitely wants to speak to as he makes this trip. Look, you've got a tale of two ends of, of Gaza right now. To the south, you've got those troops and, and equipment that are building that we talked about and preparing for uh, a land assault. And, and that's something that they've been training for. Uh, you've got up uh, at, at the other end in Egypt, the Rafa border crossing, thousands of people who have gathered, foreign nationals, 600 of them American foreign nationals, according to the Secretary of State, uh, looking for a way out. And all of those humanitarian aid supplies looking for a way in. And right now, neither end of the strip is budging at this point, and a lot of people anxious uh, to see what is going to give next. Jay Gray, uh, we appreciate it. Before you go, I was just going to note behind you Yep. It's, and I know you commented on this sort of at the top, but it just seems so, um, it looks like things are moving much more normally than before. Is, is that even possible? Yeah, I, I mean, I, I think people have, uh, the shock has worn off, if you will, so, so things are moving a, a bit more uh, like you would expect, but nowhere near, I mean, not even close to the volume. A lot of the businesses are just closed. They're not, they're not open for business. And, and, and as you move into different pockets in different parts of the city, you find that to be much more apparent. The buses, yeah, they're running. Uh, the cabs are out, but, but you don't see a lot of people. As a bus passes by a few inside, but you don't see a lot of people inside.